Hey guys, Kevin here. Today we're going to make some perfectly sweet and perfectly delicious caramelized onions. For this recipe, you'll need three pounds of white or yellow onions or a combination of the two and one third cup of good quality olive oil, some salt, and just for a little added flavor, a tiny splash of balsamic vinegar. You will also need a good deal of patience. Caramelized onions cannot be rushed. To prepare the onions, and again, that's three pounds, slice off the tip and the root, and then cut the onion in half down the middle through the root. Then peel the onions. And I find that white onions are much, much easier to peel than yellow onions. That's why I'm using the, the white variety today. And I very often will remove not only the papery skin, but also the first onion layer because it can have a thin film that can gum up the caramelized onions. Now use a sharp knife to cut the onion into lengthwise strips about one eighth inch thick. Oh, and be sure to turn your fingers in like this. That way you won't have any accidents. We don't want any fingers in our caramelized onions. Now pour the oil into a 12 inch diameter skillet. I'm using a stainless steel skillet, but you could use a nonstick skillet if you'd like. And heat the oil over medium heat until it is hot but not smoking. Then add the onions. And we're going to let these sit here until the bottom layer begins to turn brown, and that will take about five minutes. So I'll come back. All right, it's been actually about eight minutes. So let's see how these onions are doing. Oh, they are just starting to get some color on the bottom. So I'm going to flip them over and add about one teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'll stir that in just a little. And then remember when I said that caramelized onions cannot be rushed? Well, this recipe will take a good 40 minutes to complete. I wanted to mention that when you're caramelizing onions, Always let them sit until they brown on the underside, then flip them over, let them brown again. And you don't want to keep stirring the onions because, well, if you stir them, they will never brown. Okay, it's been another 10 minutes or so, and I'm going to flip these. Oh yeah, we're starting to get some good color now. At this point, I'm going to lower the heat and we're going to let these continue to cook. You can see they've cooked down considerably and they're starting to smell sweet, but they've still got a long way to go. So I will be back. All right, it's been about 30 minutes in total and I've turned the onions a couple of times and now I'm going to flip them again. And as I mentioned before, there you can really smell the sweetness at this point. But I want them to turn a nice deep walnut color. So we're almost there, folks. Well, the onions have a jammy consistency. They are a deep walnut brown, most of them anyway. And I think we're ready to add the little splash of balsamic vinegar, about a teaspoon. 
and we're going to stir this around, scrape up the uh, fond that's on the bottom of the pan, and we are good to go. Now, you might wonder how to serve caramelized onions. Well, they are a must-have for French onion soup that they are delicious too on hamburgers, on pizza, uh, in salads, and just about anything and everything. Today, I'm going to put some caramelized onions on a hamburger. So I have an English muffin here with some mayo. Here's a grass-fed beef patty. And I'm going to throw some uh, blue cheese crumbles on top because blue cheese and caramelized onions, well, they're a match made in heaven. And here are the onions. And by the way, these onions will keep for several days. Just cover them and put them in the refrigerator. And now maybe a few spinach leaves. And then a little taste. This is the best hamburger I have ever tasted in my life. The caramelized onions are perfectly sweet, absolutely delicious, and well, they're just perfectly perfect in every way. So I hope you'll give caramelized onions a try. And I also hope you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a little subscription box down here somewhere. And I will see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.